Hi everyone, this is the first tutorial of the Glamour ImageFX post processing system. So this is a system for the URP pipeline. It is created so that you can stack ImageFX and uh, reuse resources and uh, also uh, stack ImageFX based on the, the, the volumes on the scene. So let's see the basics, how to set up the system. Uh, first, let's go through the structure. It's in the Art and Game folder, Glamour, and Glamour URP. The Glamour BIRP uh, will not be included in the system. It's just a helper to port the effects. But on demand, I can also send the, the BIRP effects. Note that the BIRP is not a stack, so it's just a separate effects. So if someone got them, I can also send the, BIRP, the equivalent BIRP effects. So let's see, Glamour URP. There's a few demos here. We can uh, sample the system. And uh, the main system is the volume effects uh, stack. The super sample is just a super sample technique, just a render in to a render texture. And uh, from a camera to a render texture with custom uh, resolution, can be any resolution, very high. And then uh, record this uh, texture in a uh, quad. That uh, the main camera, the main scene camera records. So it's a simple technique. There's no image effect uh, related to this one. So let's see a bit volume effects. Here you can see the various effects, and the volume effects uh, framework is here. Uh, a few of the effects are not yet implemented. Probably will be implemented until release, but uh, maybe implemented in the first update like the sketch, it's not yet implemented, and the blur, the hazy bloom, is not implemented yet, uh, at least until this tutorial is recorded. So, plus this is just the basic, uh, the base of the system, so as all my assets, it's uh, going to be updated regularly with many more effects. So, a lot more is going to come from the effects we see here. So there's ASCII, Cloud Shadows, Eye Adaptation, Flow Effects Gradient, uh, Lens Flares is implemented, uh, Old Movie Effects, Outline Effects, Paint Early Effects like Kugahara, you can see it in this image here, Outline Effects also, uh, Pixelation Effects, Rain Effects, you can also see them, Screen Rain, plus this, uh, there is rain uh, grounded on the floor and on all objects with the depth information, all in this system. Screen space sun shafts, uh, which is fast, and uh, sketch volume not implemented yet, VHS, and volumetric fog that is implemented, plus has this imposter light system, if you want to add some vo fake volume. Note that the system has only been tested in Windows at this moment. There is no virtual reality support. So, or no tested on mobile. So it's mainly for desktop, currently. And let's go through the setup. The basic setup is uh, like that. So in graphics, we have our pipeline. And we have a red renderers. So it's good to uh, enable both depth texture and opaque texture. And also put anti-aliasing Two, because if there is no anti-aliasing enabled in some Unity versions and configurations, maybe some textures are not created from Unity size, like the color textures. So this is a solution to put this at least in two. Uh, it's not always needed, so you can test this one. And let's go through the basic setup. We can choose forward, forward plus or default. It will not make a difference normally. Okay, let's see. If you use the system in the new render graph mode, which is also supported, uh, that is used in Unity 2023.3 or Unity 6, uh, this uh, script needs to be in the renderer, this pre pass glamour volume effects, and set to after a render post processing, or you can test the order here, what you need. So this must be enabled. And uh, on top of the list, uh, in order to, for the effects to function, it's like a pre-initialization of the render graph. Uh, this is not required if you 
you don't use a red graph actually so you can disable it here but it's good to have it always there in the pipeline in just in case you need to toggle so i leave it there so the main uh, configuration is the volume effects proc uh, script which we add here as you see if i disable all effects are disabled so here we can uh, put the event when the post processing will happen the format uh, note that this format is not always used inside the effects this is work in progress a bit if this will be the format or another format that is defined directly in the scripts so for some effects this can uh, help with performance in some others the performance has already been optimized and it's internally for example in half mode so this is a bit work of progress for some of the effects like the more advanced terrain and this is. so the source is where uh, actually we will render the effect so here we can render it in the camera so we see that all effects are related like screen space and shafts which we don't see now because the sun is opposite but they are enabled down a bit. Okay, so the much effect the volume. So let's see, our main camera has the nine uh, renderer. So this is how we choose the specific renderer in the camera. And then we can go to see our effects. Here we can see that we have adapted, the, we have put a lot of uh, volume effects different. So one is for the camera that has all this uh, screen space and shafts and all these things. Uh, another is also for the camera, just to separate the effects. Some of the effects can be disabled here. Most other parameters don't affect, but uh, you can play with them to see this affects good. Like rain is also disabled here. Here is the painterly effect. So we can see if I disable this one, the painterly effect goes away. And here is another uh, setup. We can choose layer mask. So to apply the effects in some of the layers. Uh, for the other effects, you can, you can also render the stack to a global texture or to a render texture or to a buffer. These are more advanced uh, features that will be uh, handled in later tutorials. So for now, the layer mask is the easiest one. So it's uh, specific layers. The effects are applied to specific layers. And the output is also the camera. So we will not put texture. And here we apply to all these layers, these effects, specific, the VHS, etc. And we can see the rain also is in a, in a separate. So we can uh, disable separately. This is optional, we could also add it in one of the other stacks. Uh, also, the order of the effects matters. So if we put this effect, for example, up, it will render in different orders. So you can experiment with these orders. And the order of these scripts also, you can move them up or down to change the order, uh, what is rendered first and what is second. So this is, covers the basic setup of the volumes and the effects and the volumes, plus how to control them by layers only. Let's go now to a, a bit of a more advanced effects, like the screen space sun shafts, for example, or the rain. These have some extra controls that go to the camera. But before we go there, we have to also add all the effects in a volume. So the volumes can be local or global. And uh, we can add the effects we need in the volume to enable them in the scene. So if I disable the volume, all effects related, like the rain, for example, here, and the 
layer-based effects will come. And this volume holds the other effects, like the sun shafts and the, the painterly effect. Oh, the, sharp, sorry, the sharpness effect. So if I disable this volume. Most effects are gone. And let's go to the camera setup. So we see here uh, one parenthesis. Uh, so we have because we implemented a few of the already existing systems in the volume, like the screen space and shafts, this is a standalone version included also in the system. It's better not to use this one because it's not integrating well with the volumes, but it's also an option to use. And uh, generally, this needs a bit more work to be perfected because the volume one has to be perfected instead to integrate well with everything else. And uh, also, there is a system uh, for the rain that is also standalone. So you can put the system as standalone, like uh, in the pro section. There is this feature here. You can be added in the uh, post effects stack to enable the standalone version of the rain. And you need to reference one of the materials here, this, this material specifically, in the post process stack, in the render feature. And uh, one script in the camera that we will show. Uh, the script that controls the rain in both the standalone and the volume, and the volume effect uh, version is the same. It's this script screen space rain light SM URP. So this script, what it does is you pass a material which is this material for the volume effects and this material if you use it as standalone and uh, this controls the material put pushes these properties to the material so this is an extra control also we can enable a, a camera to, to render the depth normals we just need a camera parent here same yeah, all zeros to transform Use an empty, or oh, use sorry, the depth normals uh, renderer. We will show how this works. And uh, this camera will render the depth normals like this. So this is useful when we need the depth normal texture for the to ground the rain on the ground. For example. So let's see a bit. The depth normals one. It's a, just a renderer object, a render object with the, this uh, special shader here. This one. So the shader is included in the system and can be used as needed. And this also works in the render graph uh, mode. So we see the rain has a few options. Uh, some of the options don't apply because it's uh, a system I was working on that has many more options. So the options that apply are the screen rain power, as you can see. You can increase the screen rain. Also, we can, uh, because there is uh, also ground raindrops, you can see them a bit. Here we can see the sun shafts. And the raindrops, you can faintly see them here, like this. So this is uh, why the depth normal texture is needed, actually. And these are controlled by these uh, options. So you can increase the intensity, for example, make it more intense. The animation speed, make it faster. The tiling, make it bigger or smaller. And uh, that covers the, the rain uh, options. There will be more options added for the rain like rain driven on objects. This is already implemented, but I will not uh, use it here because it needs some more refinement. Also like rain driven on the objects. It's controlled by this one, object rain power, but it's not yet fully realized, this one. So 
I don't recommend using it. You see there's some issues still. In the standalone version it works, but uh, also I don't recommend it to, to use at this point the obvious extreme power. So we cover how to control the, the rain. The main thing is that we need to add this material here. And uh, this material is also read by the volume. So the volume effect that controls the rain, which is this one, actually, uh, creates a material from this, uh, creates a material internally from this uh, render, from this material. But we can also add, if we need to separate, for example, the settings in the volumes, we can add a separate material here in the rain light material for each of the volumes and then uh, add multiple scripts in the camera, this camera, add multiple scripts like this to control the individual materials and different materials here. So I haven't tested this mode, but it should work. Uh, this will be tested also to be sure. Okay, let's see a bit. Now we need to pass the sun direction in the volumetric fog and, and the, the sun shafts. So there is two scripts, this script and this script that need to reference the light, our light here and here, and uh, the volume where the screen space and shafts are, for example, here. So after this, the correct sun position is passed to the sun and we can move this, our sun and uh, the sun shafts will move accordingly. So this is a step needed for the sun shafts. This is the standalone version, not used here. So only the volume, only this volume renders the sun shafts. If I remove, it's removed. So let's see what else is needed. For the, vol for the volumetric fog, we can also add the imposter lights. So the imposter lights are just point lights that can be enabled or disabled, it doesn't matter. It just takes the properties like color, intensity and range and creates these uh, uh, light blobs in the atmosphere. So uh, you can put until, uh, I have tested with 96 lights, you can put 128 probably. And this need to also reference the material that uh, will pass this light uh, structure. So the material is this one. As we can see, this is also the material that is uh, grabbed by the volume, the volume uh, script. And uh, this is how the volume works. Also, if we choose, for example, a separate material, like here, we can define a material and not create it. So we can also define a material here for each of the volumes. And then add a controller, uh, same like the rain, for example, add multiple controllers for the multiple materials. Uh, for this one. So we will reference a different material here, add different impostors, for example, in different volume. Uh, also, this has not been tested, but uh, it should work. Uh, so this, these are more advanced users that will be tested uh, for the first release and the, the next updates of the release. So we can have multiple volumes in the scene and uh, this concludes the first tutorial basics. Uh, we will not go into the standalone systems now. For example, the standalone need a render feature for the sun shafts and uh, the connect script here and the enable sun shafts here. So these two things and the render feature. So Let's have a look at this, maybe. Uh, as an example, it's, it's this renderer feature you add to the renderer. The event is important, and the material is important to be this material. It's this material here. So this must be referenced here, and the connect script on the camera. But this is still uh, not to be used generally. It's better to use the volume one because it degrades better, plus it has some enhancement that fixes to bear into this. And uh, 
this concludes the first tutorial for the Glamour Image Effects system. Uh, we can go a bit through the demos also to see. Uh, let's see, some of the demos are here, probably will be merged in the main directory. Don't see this one. Okay. So we can see here some effects applied only in the layers that the chair is only applying. For example, this sphere is not affected by the VHS effect, as you can see. This is the, the rain is in the volume in the volume stack. There is also an example with the rain as a standalone. So you see there's some issues uh, with the standalone because the layers the when you render the lay the effects by layer, the rain is rendered behind these effects, for example. So you need to tweak it and uh, I'm not sure if it's possible to render it in front of the layer system. So the two systems, of course, you can use the standalone, but uh, it integrates uh, better the vol volume one to the stack. Here we see some more options. Here we have added the forest here. This is various options for the fog. As you can see, rain. The fog used as a sandstorm. For example, this is local rain, sun shafts, more fog. Here is the impostors, so many lights, the volume. This is the painterly effect that makes all the strokes a bit like look like uh, oil painting or something. More of this with the outline also. This is the, there is also a lens flare system. Let's see the flare. The flare is not visible for some reason. I have to go through this one. Here we can see the flare system. This needs some more options just to cut when uh, it's behind because now the sun is here, for example. This is the flare that we can also see in the back. So I will add an option to cut it when I turn the camera, for example. In the second tutorial, we'll go in a few more advanced systems plus cover some things that maybe have changed from this uh, tutorial. Thank you very much for attending.